you can learn about scoliosis. So, hello, I'm Trinity Romero, and my presentation is on scoliosis in Mr. Taylor's class. Here's some diagrams of scoliosis. When the spine curves in a C or an S shape, there are minor, major, and even severe cases of scoliosis. Scoliosis major, um, <laughs> Wait, stop! Stop! <laughs> there are minor, severe, and large cases. Small degrees of scoliosis don't occur in medical future problems, so that's nothing to worry about. So this is just a curve in your spine. Um, a large case of scoliosis tends to affect the person's um, muscle fatigue, and it also um, causes them to have a lot of muscle pain. Also, severe cases of scoliosis, it, um, it tends to have more side effects. And also, it can affect the person's breathing and cause um, arthritis in the spine. And right here, you can see this is a mild, small case of scoliosis. You can't really see the bend, but it's like right there. So this is actually a teeny scroll. And this is a comparison of a scoliotic spine and normal spine. So you can see there's a C shape, more of a bit of an S shape. So, what are the symptoms of scoliosis? Scoliosis are visible, have a lot of visible, um, have a lot of visible um, side effects and everything. There are different shoulder heights, as you can see right here. This person does not have the exact same shoulder height. You can see the shoulder blades aren't connected or lined up correctly. The rib cage is not lined up correctly. As you can see right here, this is a normal spine right here. But as you can see, this is very uneven. It's more tilted. And um, the person's body is leaning to an entire side. As you can see in this diagram, the little girl is leaning to one entire left side. So that's not bad. That's not good. The ribs stick out. You can see the rib is sticking out over here and not over here. More bending and an uneven waist. Right here you can see, right here it shows a diagram of how the girl's pelvic tilt is more not straight. It's curved like that. So that is, those are some of the major symptoms. Causes the scoliosis. <clears throat> Um, being, usually being flat-footed, um, or having uneven leg lengths, or even, um, uneven leg lengths, or also having a lot of muscle tension, um, muscle tension um, throughout your muscles. So, like, for example, like, putting a backpack on your shoulder, like, over and over and over for lots of years, and also having any injuries, um, including your spine, that can also be a cause, but... But mostly 80% of the time, doctors don't really know the cause. So, treatments for scoliosis, there are a lot of treatments, and usually a lot of them work, but it takes lots of months. So, the first one that is more common is the brace. Now there's a Boston brace, a um, Milwaukee brace, and a Carlston brace. Now, when using a back brace, brace, it relieves the patient's spine, which has a lot of pain on itself, and it also helps the curve. Now, the problem with the back brace though, you have to use physical activity with it as much as you can. So, this means a person has to walk every day with the brace on. They can't just be sitting on the couch. Also, physical therapy is one of the best ways. Um, it helps the person gain lots of flexibility, endurance, and helps the person decrease the pain. So, here are the different braces. This is the Boston brace, Milwaukee brace, and the Carlton brace. This is um, a little demonstration of how you can wear it. And this is a person, a lady, going through her scoliotic um, treatment for physical therapy. And then there's another one for exercises. And also, scoliotic surgeries. This is the most common one, the spinal fusion. Spinal fusion is one of the most common procedures. And it includes the doctors going in and lining the spine with metal rods or steel rods and making it mend to a straight vertical way, not so it can curve. So this will help the person decrease pain. Um, it'll take a few weeks to mend it together, and over time they'll have a more straight body, and it will help them in the long, in the long run. Oh, so as you can see, this is how they align it with steel rods. See, it tells you the fusion of the vertebrae, not the vertebrae line up to it. It um, defects the arthritis, so arthritis is not worried after this surgery. Um, and then here, just some surgeries like this is. Scoliosis with an S shape, and as you can see, it's more straight right here with the surgery. That is a big thing. And a little bit uh, of history about scoliosis. 
Scoliosis was founded by Hippocrates. He was um, the modern father of modern medicine, and he founded scoliosis in 400 BC. He started treating athletes in the 1500s, and they did scoliotic studies for 5,000 years. And the first metal brace was made in 1575. So, oh, and also 80% of scoliosis um, cases are unknown. And right here you can see Hippocrates. Is um, he wrote a lot of books because he was an orthopedic and um, he made a lot of books so this is the title and the cover of his book and then these are just some more um, detailed facts. So that's one. So in conclusion, scoliosis is when the spine is curved in the CRSG. There are minor, severe, and large cases of scoliosis. Scoliosis can be treated with physical therapy, braces, and even spinal fusion, common um, scoliosis surgery. And also, Hippocrates was the founder, and Claudian Gladden, he was the term founder, which means he found the name for scoliosis. So, this is my scoliosis presentation. Thank you. Yay.